Thanks, Lex. And uh, look, I, I just think uh, we've had five accounts, uh, four from our own volunteers, which I think represents the diversity within this great organisation. Um, and when you hear certainly those four accounts from the, the CFA volunteers, and you think that we've got uh, over 57,000 volunteers out there, uh, each of whom uh, will tell a story. Now, I'm going to uh, have a bit of a postscript to one of the stories. Um, and April uh, spoke of uh, her involvement in a number of activities this year. And one of the things I think she was very humble about, she was selected as uh, one of the kings and queens of Moomba this year. Um, and uh, recently CFA's uh, received a photo that uh, uh, commemorates that. And I'd like April to be upstanding and we'll make a presentation. <laughs> So we're actually graced by royalty today. Um, <laughs> this is a <laughs> so I think that uh, that that perhaps symbolic of uh, what you can aspire to do. Now, uh, and I know I wasn't meant to be speaking for very long, and I never do, but. Uh, a, a, <laughs> A couple of years ago, uh, if you'd come up to me and said, what's my role in CFA, I probably would have said, I'm the, I'm the Chief Officer. If you'd gone to my wife, she would have proudly said, he's a probationary firefighter, uh, because I'd joined up uh, at uh, a little brigade uh, where uh, my wife's family come from, a place called Wusang. Um, and uh, in fact, uh, tonight I'm up there at the annual general meeting uh, in a cold, very breezy, very old fire station, Mick, that uh, <laughs> um, in a 23-year-old appliance, but anyway, so. Um, <clears throat> but I think uh, the, the salutary lesson there is that in the community we sang, there is no hall, uh, there's, there's no school, uh, there's no church. Uh, in fact, the only uh, semblance of community at we sang is a little tin shed, which is the, uh, the CFA fire station. And tonight there'll be uh, probably about 18 members who will be there. Uh, they've turned out uh, about 15 times this year. So it's been a busy time for Wusang. Uh, but, but they're there and they're very much um, uh, the backbone uh, of what the community is. And <clears throat> the role that CFA plays uh, is really, really essential in giving that community a sense of uh, self-purpose. I'm going to close today uh, by repeating uh, the words uh, which are in that big poster that was produced uh, shortly after Black Saturday uh, and just uh, repeat those words which are called the spirit of CFA. But before I do so, can I just acknowledge and thank uh, the speakers uh, this morning uh, what a rich presentation. I'm glad it's been videotaped because this can be something we can put on, on YouTube and CFA Connect. So the spirit of CFA, this was a poster that was produced after Black Saturday. Around the edge of the poster is the name of every one of our 1,226 brigades, uh, which doesn't sound an awful lot when you just say it like that, but when you look at the names around the, uh, the poster, you realise just how large <coughs> CFA is. In fact, if you visited a CFA brigade six days of every week, it would take you just shy of four years to get around the state. Um, I'm working on it. <laughs> so this is the spirit of CFA, which is a small set of words underneath that poster. Hailing from all walks of life, you are our mothers and fathers, our brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, our grandparents, neighbours and our friends. You help and protect us without wanting recognition or reward. In our time of need, you are there. Your courage and compassion are inspiring and your loyalty unquestionable. You comfort us with a tender hand and you stand at the face of nature's beast and fight for our lives and our land. You are the, true, you are the essence of the true meaning of community and you epitomise the Australian spirit, uh, the spirit of CFA.
to each and every one of our volunteers on behalf of Mick and the board uh, and all of our management, thanks a million.